back. The San Diego Women's Foundation awards nearly $400,000 to eight nonprofits around the county whose work benefits refugees, asylees, and asylum seekers. Joining us this morning to tell us a little bit more about the foundation is the executive director of the San Diego Women's Foundation, Katie Sawyer. Good morning, Katie. Morning. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for joining us. Let's talk a little bit about uh, first the San Diego Women's Foundation and what its role is in the community uh, to help. Absolutely. Our mission is to connect, educate, and inspire women to come together in collective philanthropy. Um, we have over 200 members all over San Diego County, who smart, talented women who come together to learn about critical issues facing our community and to fund solutions. And we are so deeply proud to have been able to provide such fun funding to such phenomenal nonprofits this spring. So nearly $380,000 going out to eight different organizations. Can you tell us a little bit more about the organizations selected to, to have some of that money? Absolutely. We um, are providing grants to eight nonprofits thoroughly vetted by our members. Um, and we're also, I want to call out that we're able to provide such a high amount of funding thanks to our partnership with the San Diego Foundation, who joined with us in a funding partnership this cycle. And these, we know that the needs of refugees and asylum seekers are complex. These are folks who have faced trauma and extreme violence before they arrived in our community. And so we funded nonprofits that provide a range of services from emergency shelter, food support, kind of immediate basic needs, also legal services, and trauma-informed care over time. Because what we want to make sure is that folks have what they need immediately in kind of the emergency phase when they're first arriving here, but also that they have what they what they need to be able to, to have a successful transition into being long-term members of our community. Yeah. Is Are there guidelines for how the money is going to be used? Is that something that comes with the grant money, or is it strictly just given to the organization in order to function? Because we've seen so many wonderful organizations right. really be impacted financially with the coronavirus restrictions in place. That's, thank you for asking that question. It's a great question. Normally, our grants are restricted to specific programs, but this cycle in particular, because um, nonprofits are having to be so nimble, and these organizations in particular, even before COVID, they were having to be responsive to constantly changing policy. So this $380,000 is fully unrestricted. Um, and we are seeing with these eight nonprofits and many, many others, they're being innovative and responsive. And we want to make sure that 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 we're providing the support that they need to be able to provide services that meet changing needs in our community. So we have made that commitment. Um, a number of other funders have as well. And we would encourage any funders and donors as well, if you're supporting the work of a nonprofit, make it an unrestricted general operating um, gift. Yeah, especially now. Is there anything that can, can people reach out to the San Diego Women's Foundation right now if they're in need and maybe don't have that relationship bridge already built? Or are there things that you're looking for from the community right now, especially? Right. What I would encourage, I mean, we have a strong partnership with the San Diego Foundation. And what I would encourage nonprofits to do if they are uh, looking for additional support because of, frankly, because there are so many needs in the nonprofit community because of the current pandemic, um, to take a look at the San Diego Foundation's website, which has a link to an application for the COVID-19 Community Response Fund. And they have, um, they have already granted out, I believe, over $14 million just since late March in, in very fast response to this crisis in our community and, and across the world. Well, Katie, it's, it's a wonderful thing, and it's just the amazing ongoing work that the foundation has done for San Diego. So we appreciate all your hard work and support that you put out there and just furthering the great work of our nonprofits in San Diego. So thank you so much for highlighting that this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Take care. You too.